I found out I had a heart attack when I came out of surgery and the surgeon said to me, do you want to tell your family or shall I? And I looked at him and I said, tell them what? And he went, you've had a heart attack. And, I, and I'll be honest with you, I still didn't believe it. For my heart attack, I was just your average 27 year old, juggling a job, going to the gym a few times a week while still having a social life. A couple of weeks before I actually had my heart attack, um, I was getting a dull pain in my chest. I just thought, oh, maybe it's a pull from the gym. Never thought anything of it. And then two weeks later, I'd come back from work. This pain was still there. So I said to my mum, I was like, I, said, I don't feel very well. Um, took two paracetamol, went upstairs. When I was getting into bed, the pain was just getting excruciating to the, to the point where it felt like there was like tens of thousands of pins going through my heart, as well as an elephant sitting on me. And I thought, no, something's but something's happening. So I was shouted to my mum. She came running upstairs. She was like, should I phone an ambulance? I was like, yeah. Got rushed straight into surgery where I had a stent fitted psychologically. I suffered from anxiety, depression and PTSD. Felt like a bit ashamed of I had a heart attack because um, I felt like there was something wrong with me. I got a psychiatrist in the end and that was a major help for me. I felt like I'd lost my identity, but it was just all in my head, really, because I was still the same person. I said to my mum, if I can get out of this and help one other person, that's what I'm going to do. I started my Instagram page um, because I wanted to hold myself accountable for my journey and I'm being the person I needed back then for other people, I guess. And if I can give one person hope, if she can do it, I can do it kind of thing. That's what I'm trying to do out here. I'm more aware of um, like my heart now because obviously I take medication every morning. Donating to the British Heart Foundation is really important. If the people who developed the stent were here now, I say thank you for saving my life. I'm really grateful for my family that supported me for, throughout everything. Even though I had the heart attack for them, it was a shock because they've had to deal with something they've never dealt with as well. Christmas is a great time for me to reflect and be grateful for another year. The advice I'd give my 27 year olds up now would be don't be scared, be brave, and you're going to come out stronger than you ever realised.